Now, Positively Ernie with Ernie Anastas, a New York TV legend and radio host with great positive stories and interviews. Thanks, Ernie. You're the best. And now, here's Ernie. Hi, everybody. We're back with a great show for you. Another wonderful guest, somebody that I've known for a long time. But we haven't seen each other for a while. This is Jackie Moran. Uh, she is a fashion expert. She's a TV host. She's a mom. She does a lot of things. Jackie, you know, we had a whole COVID thing going on there. Yes. We did something, you know, on a Zoom call. But now it's... Hold my hands. Uh, nice know. to see you. I'm so happy God, to see you. God, you look you. great. And can I just remind everybody? Yeah. Everyone loves Ernie. Oh, I mean, there's just you're such so a sweet. Oh, thank you, honey. I appreciate you. that. It's no wonder your show is so successful. I'm so well, happy to be here. In you're very kind because you're successful as well. We've oh, done a lot of good you. things together. Yes. You know, Jackie knows a lot about fashion and style. Look at her. I mean, you're your fashion plate right <laughs> there. You, you look thank great. You. And you're a mom. You got two beautiful children. Tell us about those kids, huh? Yes, I'm such a proud mom. I said this is the first time I'm seeing you in person as yeah. a mom of a three year old and a one year old. Wow. And, you know, two boys, they keep me busy. Huh. But also, also, they really are a good reminder of, you know, keeping myself in check, what you really need out of life to function every yeah. single day and still embrace the things that I love, like style and fashion. So Absolutely. it's a great reminder to sort of go down to the bare basics and really know what I really need in my life each and every day. You and know, they are the start of it. That's No sure. question about it. Family <laughs> is at the center of everything. That's right. But, but you have been really immersed in fashion. I mean, yes. all your life. Absolutely. And, and you've been on television shows. I mean, national programs. You're, you're a host. Uh, tell us about some of the things you're doing right now. Well, I'm very excited to share that the beautiful thing about yeah. being a mom right now and, and talking about fashion is that I found a lot of ways to do that very creatively, not just in the studio, mm. uh, you're in your typical fashion, right? Uh, live stream has become such an important part of fashion. It has, yeah. And now I'm a live stream host as well as a TV host. Mm. Uh, I like to say TV and live stream because I'm yeah. a live stream host for The Mile, which is this huge fashion company all about luxury fashion. I, yeah. I like to do affordable fashion meets high fashion. For That's the nice. Mile. Nice combination. Yes. Yeah. And I'm a host on Amazon as well, which is uh, really growing their live stream for fashion, beauty, lifestyle, home. Mm -hmm. So I get to talk about a lot of fun products. So you end up, you know, day. doing a lot of research, yes. you know, to figure out what people really want to know, what they want to hear about. Uh, right now, if you said, okay, the top of the list, you know, one, two, three, what are people really interested right now to know about? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, of course, there is that continued focus on your everyday athleisure when it comes to fashion. Yeah. This is men, women, kids alike. It's You're still seeing tons of those uh, basics, like your sneakers, your sweatshirts, your denim, mm -hmm. all of those things that really day in and day out you really wear. Yes. Uh, those basics, they don't have to be basic though, I like yeah. to say, Ernie. So yeah. I like to really give a good flair to even those everyday items, uh -huh. outerwear right now, you know, depending on the season. When we get into spring, we start to see those statement dresses. Sure. And of course, another key uh, item that I uh, obviously see is always a big deal is mm. for women is accessories. Oh, yeah. Bags, oh, sure. Right? Big handbags uh, are big. Every, every, no question about every, it. When yeah. I say to somebody, if you want, yeah. want to find the way to my heart, always uh -huh. <laughs> find it through a handbag. You will definitely find your yeah, way there. Yeah, <laughs> that's, a, that's a big item. Yep, you absolutely. know, uh, uh, you you have a style, and, and I know what you like. Uh, we've had uh, Nicole Miller on here. Mm -hmm. We had uh, Joseph Abud recently. Oh, great. And they were basically talking about the simplicity of style and design with uh, some flair. Yes. You feel the same way? Absolutely. Yeah. As I said, you know, your basics don't have to be basic. Yeah. Uh, investing in some of those luxury items that you do wear every mm -hmm. single day will make such a difference because you can have a bag that you have for 10 years yeah. if it's that high quality investment piece where you may go through that many and end up spending the same amount if you go the route of fast fashion with some of those investment mm. pieces. So mm -hmm. uh, really look at how much, you know, cost per wear ratio, I like to say, right. uh, is very important in terms of building your wardrobe and you really can build your wardrobe with a mix of different levels mm -hmm. of fashion. So. And Jackie, you know, we both know that, uh, that style or your, your clothing that you, that you choose has a lot to do with your personality. Yes. It says who you are. It makes a statement when you go out there. And I think that's so important to understand. And there's a lot of emotion involved with fashion and how you dress. I don't know about you, but like sometimes, you know, I might decide what I want to wear the night before if I'm going to, you know, do television or something. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I just wake up and say, what do I feel like today? Yes. There's a lot of emotion involved in clothing. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and of course, a lot of the times, sometimes I do have to plan ahead, you know, for styling and yeah. segments and things like that. But I 
think the biggest thing that you touch upon when you say that is it is all about a representation of you. Yes. So the more you can embody what you're wearing, the mm. more it will speak miles. So mm -hmm. we're seeing different trends like something called quiet luxury where it is all about a lack of statement. It is mm. about those... Uh, you know, basic modern blazers, clean cut, monochromatic colors, but that in and of itself mm -hmm. can be such a big statement while being so minimalist at the same time. And if you're in the mood to party, grab that fringe, yeah. grab that sheer, grab that pop of color statement. Whatever the dress. mood is. Exactly. Yeah. Dress to your mood. It definitely will speak miles, the authenticity behind what you're wearing. And I always say that about trends too. Make sure you're authentically connected to them mm. and then they really do work for you in your wardrobe. Now, now, you know, uh, here's another thing. And a, a lot of people think we're not dressing up enough. Right. People talk about just dressing down all the time. I mean, you know, you, you show up somewhere, you know, in sweats. For example, I did a story recently about how a lot of college graduates, recent graduates, right. are showing up for interviews in sweatpants right. or very casual, you know, sweatshirts and so forth. And they're bringing their parents with them. They don't know how to communicate. They don't know how to talk. But they don't know how to present themselves. Yes as far as appearance goes. And I think that is definitely something, I come from an old school, yeah. school of fashion. I had my fashionable grandmother who was always matching every piece of jewelry to every you know uh, piece that she wore head to toe. So there's always that mix and that fine line. Of course, for your day in and your day out, your errands and things like that, yes, there's a way to still look polished even in those comfort items. Mm. But when it comes to dressing, for the role that you want, yeah. you have to dress the part. So I can't stress enough. I, I would be happy to do a fashion crash course with anybody out there <laughs> that you just mentioned. <laughs> dress for the role you want. If right. you want to become the CEO, if you want to become that megastar, if you want to become that you know business person, that next big influencer, dress for it. Yeah. Look the part. Be the star in the room. And you can do that in many ways. But yes. I do think there is absolutely something to situational dressing mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you have to know your audience, know where, what you're walking into. Right. And definitely there is something to that elevated, polished look, especially yes. in situations like interviews. Or for me, it's a red right. carpet. Uh, you know, you definitely have to do your thought process there and, and you do. Do the, fill yeah. the role. You know, we, the expression smart casual yes. has been around for a long time. And, and I think that today, there's no question about it. You go into one of the best restaurants, whether right. it's New York or anywhere, and, and people are in there and they're casual. Right. But it's that smart casual. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between the sweatpants right. and looking a, a little brighter, a little sharper, a little more put together, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Don't lose the smart in yeah. smart casual, smart. right? So, you know, it, it, it's we can always fall into those patterns of being more comfortable and, and mm -hmm. not necessarily. We A lot of us were home for several years. We were just speaking about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, so there is something, I think we all could use that little bit of a refresh mm -hmm. and definitely make sure if you're wearing maybe a jogger, you wear a heel with it. If you're wearing a sneaker with a dress, yeah. a midi dress and a sneaker, that's one of my favorite combinations. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about balance. So if you're balancing a casual piece, maybe counteract that with something a little bit more polished, a little bit dressier, on the other hand, to kind of bring that contrast and that yeah. balance. You know something that, that I've noticed too, and I know, I know you've seen it. If you look at a photograph, yes. you know, let's say from 1955, because mm -hmm. uh, we see a lot of videos from New York, and you, you see a ball game, for example, uh, you can pick out the mom because she's dressed, you know, with a dress and right. maybe a hat, yep. and, and the dad has got a tie on, uh, and the kid has a little baseball cap. Today, if you look at that same picture, everybody looks the same. Right. Mom and daughter can look like sisters. Yes. And the same thing with fathers and sons and so forth. What do you think about that? The, the fact that we all kind of have that more youthful look, if you will. We're all sort of blended. The family yeah. matching. Yeah. Actually, family matching is a huge thing that I was just talking about matching my son. It is, in terms huh? of their yeah. wardrobe. But that actually is a trend in and of itself, funny enough. Mm. Uh, but I do also see your point is that it's some, it's nice to have that identifiable style as well. Yeah. Uh, but again, to each their own. I'm not going to tell anybody out there that they can't do what feels true to them. And we are seeing with social media, funny enough, mm -hmm. uh, TikTok, Instagram. You see a lot of that blending together, I think, is in part to that because it sort of blurs the lines. Yes. And you see a lot of, you know, dancing videos with parents and their kids and things. But you know what? If it brings them together yeah. and they're more connected. That's important. That, that's really great. Absolutely. That's no absolutely question great. about it. Yeah. And, and speaking of kids, you know, we talk to a lot of parents as well. We've got a lot of kids running around the house. And when it comes to children's clothing, talk about that for a minute. Yes. Uh, parents know that kids, you know, grow out of their things like that. Yes. And you can buy them a $100 sweater 
uh, or a $25 sweater, mm -hmm. and they're going to grow out of it just as fast. What do you do as far as picking out the right kind of clothing for your kids? Well, I always say for those items, those $100 pieces, those yeah. are the hand-me-down pieces. Mm. You always want to find someone in your life who can be that one to pass it down. So if yeah. you have a friend that maybe has a child a few years ahead of you, for me, it's my sister, my brother, we're all having kids at the same time. Right. It is so important to pass down your clothing, pass it on to Absolutely. others. So for those expensive items, you do only get a chance to wear them mm -hmm. maybe once. Mm -hmm. uh, it means so much to then either donate or pass things on. And in terms of loving the, the, fruits that fast, fa fast fashion have to offer, yeah, yeah. that's nice for children's clothing because now my favorite brands like Target, H&M, you can, you can get those stylish, mm -hmm. uh, snazzy looking things right. for your family. Yeah. But because you do go through them so fast, each size, they grow so quickly, it's nice to know you can get those stylish items at those great price points as well. And you don't have to worry if they wear through them, if they get a hole yeah, in them. Yeah, like exactly. And, and you want your kids to look nice. Yes. You know, let's face it. I mean, as a parent, right, you know when you look at your child and they're, they're dressed nicely. I'm not talking about going out there and running around to play. But right. when they're dressed to go to school or, or to a play or wherever, you want them to look nice because it, it, it makes makes you feel good that it your does. child you, looks nice. You put so much effort and love yeah. into them. And for me, I don't know if it's because I just love fashion and style <laughs> so much, but it does make me so proud to walk into a room with them, have them oh, in their yeah. adorable outfits, often matching, of course, <laughs> I will admit that. And it just adds to that pride. It mm. adds to that family portrait moment. It's not just about getting dressed up for the holiday card anymore. Yeah. It's, you have the opportunity to create wardrobe for even your littlest yeah. one now. And it's fun to do that. And, you, and you'll and you remember that forever. I you'll know. have that picture uh, forever framed. And are we not exactly. taking pictures all the time? I mean, yes. we don't stop. I mean, as soon as you see uh, whatever it happens to be, picture, picture, picture. So you have a lot of pictures of your kids and your family. You know a lot about the industry. Uh, talk to me about the manufacturing of clothes because, you know, you look at labels mm -hmm. and, you know, very rarely do you see made in the USA. Right. It's all over the country, all over the world, I should say. Yes. Well, actually, that's what I'm very happy to say. I've been pleasantly surprised. Uh, I was mentioning my live stream show on the mile. Some of our premium designers now, I'm starting to see made in the USA mm. more than I ever did before. Yeah. And I think that's actually a beautiful thing t when I take note of the things that matter to me when I talk about them on my live streams. Sure. If I see that, I think that is such a beautiful thing, and I like to call that out. However, of course, we, we are seeing sourcing from all over the world. No question about it. I think what we should know as consumers is it doesn't guarantee quality. Uh, no matter which way you look at it, uh, no matter where it's coming from, you have to look at the label, mm. look at what it's made of. Uh, it's very important, especially in children's clothing, 100% cotton, for example, right. organic cottons, uh, you know, sustainable fashions mm. now. I think it's important to do your research. And if you find brands that work with your mantra of what you believe in, whether mm -hmm. it's eco-conscious, you know, eco-friendly, sustainable, or those natural fibers, uh, s stick with those brands. Sure. You know, you can become a loyalist to yeah. a lot of those brands, especially for children's fashion in particular. But I think just do your research because you never know now even yeah. the bigger companies – uh, even just with vegan leather, for example, mm -hmm. the finest, finest design fashion houses, you would have never seen vegan leather in previous decades, right? right. Now, even the highest fashion luxury houses are producing items in those vegan le leathers, faux furs, things mm -hmm. like that. So when you're paying a certain price point, you want to make sure it aligns with what materials you want, Makes sense. what you want out of the product. Yeah. Exactly. I, I know you, you, you talk to a lot of celebrities. I mean, you, you mm -hmm. follow their, their patterns and what yes. they do. Talk to us a little bit about your favorites. You know, who are your favorite celebrities, and how they dress, and, and why you like what they wear? Yes. Well, I do want to take a moment to shout out uh, one of my favorite designers out there. I always, even when I just had yeah. my baby, I made sure that I was at his show front row, Christian Siriano. Oh, yeah. Little fun fact, I was a Project Runway model with, on his season of Project Runway wow. way back when. Now he's the host of Project Runway. But it's amazing to have been to have watched his journey from square one before mm. he even got mm. that final discovery, yeah. the final win. Great, and great success story. he is 
one of the biggest moguls in fashion as a TV personality, as an influencer, as yeah. a designer. Yeah. And the best thing about him is as I sit at each one of his shows, he's very loyal. Mm. He is also very inclusive. He is like the poster child for inclusivity in fashion. So you're yeah. going to see, you know, with Christian Siriano, you're going to see runway models of all sizes. You're going to see men and women on the runway, all types Challenging. of personalities, yeah. models and, you know, influencers and different types of personalities and people all coming together together in yeah. his fashion mm -hmm. and you of course at, on the red carpet so I really love shouting him out because he's been a friend I'm glad you did and that I love when he dresses me I course. love it I, I love it <laughs> yeah. let me ask you something personalities okay real yes. quick um let's talk about women who do you think you know really stands out in your mind I, I know there are probably several but if you had to choose one and say you know I think she really dresses very well who would that be in terms of celebrities, I would yeah. have to say right now, I could not speak if I did not mention the Barbie phenomenon. Oh, that my is God. Margot Robbie. You're right. Yeah. Of course. So, of course, it's all <clears throat> dependent on their projects and the moment. But I have to just give a shout out to Margot Robbie slash Barbie. Mm. She still deserves to have her own identity, but she's embracing the Barbie phenomenon, which I love. She is dressing red carpet after red carpet, mirroring these iconic Barbie looks. And as you can see, huge millennial success. pink is one of the huge yeah. uh, trends that you're going to see for a long time beyond mm. the movie and the moment. Yeah. But I think uh, right now, that's the phenomenon that's speaking to me. Pretty she's hot right on now. All yeah. of the awards shows, so yeah. you're seeing what she's wearing. And she continues to embrace that spirit, mm, mm -hmm. which is why she's there, which is why she's nominated. And I love that she owns it and has a lot of fun with it. Oh, yeah. And really dresses to the part, as we were mentioning. Yeah. Dress the part. You can never go wrong. Uh, you, can, <laughs> you can never be overdressed. For yeah. an underdressed no, that's true. trend that uh, mm. that is in America right now, you can never be overdressed. So. I, I've always said that it's either compliments or apologies. That's right. If you show up someplace, right, and you look really good, you're going to get compliments. Absolutely. If you go someplace and you're underdressed, you're always saying, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that everybody was dressed. Right, right. Yeah. So, because okay, so you were talking about women. Talk about men. Okay, if you had to spotlight somebody and say, here's a celebrity that I think really dresses well, a guy, who would it be? Well, I have to say, I love when guys just sort of have that sleek, uh, crisp, classic style. Yeah. So I, I love the icons, uh, you know, out there from, uh, you know, whether it's a, a Leonardo DiCaprio or a Brad Pitt or, you know, I love when they show up to the red carpet. Mm -hmm. We're seeing Ryan Gosling, of course, right now. Yeah. Um, you know, just polished. Uh, yeah. It's not necessarily for me about, or even a Matthew McConaughey, uh, it's not about one celebrity sure. in, in sure. terms of men, because obviously I mirror my looks based on, women mm -hmm. watch women on the red carpet and, and yeah. celebrity much uh -huh. more than we watch men. <laughs> and I think for, for the guys out there, any one of them, Bradley Cooper, you know, when they show up with that polished look, yeah. you know, that crisp suit, yeah. uh, you know, perfectly tailored. I, I love seeing that cleanup moment. Yeah. Like guys are lucky because yeah. I say, you could really live in two, two wardrobes. That's it. You mm. can have two outfits in your, in your yeah. wardrobe, a t-shirt and jeans <laughs> and a suit. And yeah. I love when I see them pull out the suit yeah. and uh, yeah. have that moment. So I definitely, I just, I, it's more of an overarching love for that, that cleaned mm -hmm. up, well-groomed mm -hmm. moment, uh, obviously on the red carpet, as I like yeah. to watch and see all of and, and you know, a, a lot of people like to be creative, you know, yes. with what they're doing. And it's like anything goes. For example, yeah. I've, I've been to black tie events mm -hmm. where, you know, uh, let's say a men are dressed in a tuxedo, but they're wearing jeans right. with a tuxedo. Right. And it's acceptable. Right. It, it, it looks good. I mean, you know, they're good looking jeans, a nice pair of uh, loafers or whatever. And it's a nice combination. So being a little creative on your own and making a little statement that way, mm -hmm. it's kind of a nice thing to do. Yeah, and it works when you can tell it comes from that authentic place that, that you know, yeah. you're really seeing the person embody that look. You can always tell, for me anyway, when someone's styled, but it's not really who they are. Mm -hmm. uh, you could you could always kind of tell the difference when somebody is authentically owning yeah. their look. So if you are going to do something like that, if you're going to create that twist or that statement-making moment, Pharrell is someone, I think, who's a really oh, good yeah. example. He's always mm. making a statement. Uh, he always embraces what he's doing. Now he's a creative director. Yeah. Uh, so I think it speaks, at, you know, you can't fool America. No. We're smart. Yeah, so we are. So we could tell when it's coming from a genuine yeah. place of love for fashion or creativity mm -hmm. or whatever, what have you. When it's a gimmick, that gimmick tends to run out pretty mm -hmm. quickly. Yeah. Jackie, we also know that a lot of things in life are cyclical. Yes. You know, and, and it comes back. 
So, you know, we've gotten into, for men, for example, you know, tighter pants, mm -hmm. narrow, and so forth. And, and at one time, we were wearing baggy clothes. Right. So uh, talk to me a little bit about fashion for men and for women. What do you foresee? What's going to change? What, what's going to be the, the new thing coming up? Well, I hate to tell you, yeah. we, uh, we're seeing a lot of 90s trends coming back. 90s. So I don't know. We might start seeing some baggy again. Really? Uh, but, but it's I, comfortable. I mean, exactly. Yeah. Like, exactly. Proportion. It's all about proportion. So if you're going to wear maybe a, something baggy on top, you balance it on the bottom. I, mm. I always like to say uh, you don't want to be swallowed by the trends, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Uh, but I definitely, I, we are seeing those nods to the 70s, the 90s. You know, you always see those generational yeah. uh, times come back again. Mm -hmm. And that's why I always say, if you have pieces that you love, don't Hold be so on. quick to get rid of <laughs> yeah. them because they're always going to come back in style. Right, right. Uh, so we are seeing, uh, definitely, I think 90s is going to be in terms of, uh, you know, eras past, I do think you're going to see a lot of 90s this year. Okay, and, and as far as color goes, what what's the hot color? Oh, well, of course, pink never goes you away. You got it, yeah. Pink has, has been a steadfast there you go. staple yeah, I guess so. in my yeah. wardrobe. You're looking yeah. very sharp yeah, yeah. there. But uh, that is truly the phenomenon from the Barbie mm, you know, mm -hmm. world that we're living in. Millennial pink is a thing for a while. But uh, we've been seeing ravishing red. Uh, peach is to be one of the biggest peach. colors. Peach. Oh, peach is yeah. soft peach. They're happy and, colors. Yeah, and green. We're and seeing green. a lot of green, green yeah. with envy. So I think green is probably the trickiest to tackle out mm -hmm. of all of those because I think a lot of those pastels, red, pink, those yeah. can be classics. Yes. I think green uh, is a, a more of a limited color. So uh, definitely maybe dip your toe in it. Try yeah. just one piece. Yeah. Always can do that through accessories. So mm -hmm. if you're not sure how to wear a color, mm -hmm. maybe you buy a, a pair of green pumps or a green bag, or you know, maybe we'll see some guys in some green suits walking green down the suits? red carpet okay. this season. Maybe. I, I have a prediction. You may see really that. green suits. You may see it. You may really see it. okay. I, I feel like Nothing we're wrong see with it that. Somewhere. Uh, and and uh, a lot of those muted, like we're seeing muted greens, like yeah. pistachio. Yeah. So I, I guarantee you, someone will walk down a red carpet in a green suit. Well, we're gonna be year. checking out yeah we're gonna check <laughs> but, but you know it's interesting about color because color also says a lot about your personality mm -hmm. and how you feel Absolutely. and if you're wearing a bright color i think you know it, it says i'm happy yeah i, I want to shine today i want you to feel good about it but you know what you can't beat classic black of course. you know no matter what it, there's always something about like this black turtleneck mm -hmm. black pants black suit black dress it just always works because you can always dress that up with you know a piece of jewelry or whatever it is. Yep. But I think that uh, it's nice to play around with the colors, but some of the basics, white and black, they never go away. It's true, Ernie. I always say, uh, you know, for when I dress for on camera for television, you're always looking for the bright colors yeah. because they do just translate so well on camera. So a lot of my wardrobe has been inspired by that. However, every time I wear something black, as a New Yorker especially, New Yorkers love wearing black. I oh, mean, yeah. It's, it's functional because sure. if you're walking through a dirty city street, the snow, things like that, it just helps to be functional in basic black. But I always say, you know what, I'm going to throw out my entire wardrobe and I'm only going to wear black. <laughs> Every time I wear black, I, I feel inspired. Yeah. Uh, and I do. you do appreciate the classic luxury. Yes. It always looks elevated. Yeah. It always looks cleaner. It always looks more polished. Uh, so just one outfit try it in black and you try it in a color, it guarantee it will look that much more expensive. In yeah, oh, black, oh yeah, right? oh, no so question about it. You can mix these two things together. You can have your basics, your black and your white. Yeah. For summer, I live in white. And then you have those bright pops where where they work best for you. Mm. So, And you can do that in so many ways. Mm -hmm. You can do that in a statement dress. You can do that in a shoe. You can do it in a bag. You can do it with your outerwear. Uh, pieces you wear day in and day out, I do think functional neutrals just are the smarter choice. Sounds but, interesting. Yeah. For those people who are listening and watching us and so forth, who might be thinking about a career in, yes. in fashion design mm -hmm. and being part of the industry, what advice do you have with all the experience that you've had? Someone says, I really want to get involved in this thing. What should I do? What's the, what's the new way to get involved in the fashion industry? What should I do? Well, it's a beautiful time yeah. to want to embrace the fashion industry or anything really uh, in that sense of entertainment, fashion, because content creation is at your fingertips. Mm. You do not have to just be able to go to uh, that fashion school here in the city. You know, I went to FIT. Uh, you don't have to be one of the 
10 top model agencies have to discover you anymore. That was my life mm. growing mm -hmm. up. It was about, you know, going to the open calls and the castings and not, just oh, yeah. not being just <laughs> tall enough so many times. All of that's kind of out the window because now we can all be our own content creators. Yeah. There are so many different job opportunities mm -hmm. to be involved in fashion. It's about running social media. It's about, um, you know, styling. It's about being your own host. It's yeah. about, uh, you know, being an influencer. There mm -hmm. are tons of opportunities. Great opportunities. Whatever city yeah. you live in, yeah. across America, across the world, to put your own powerful voice mm. into fashion. And the beautiful thing is, Maybe it's more of a hobby that you can turn into a, a productive business. Yeah. And maybe you start that way. Yeah. Uh, but I always I always like to say, you know, don't put all of your eggs in one basket. Give yourself that, you know, that breath of fresh air to know maybe you have that full time mm. job and maybe you're creating, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a new live stream show at the same time. Yeah. Uh, just to, to give yourself that cushion. But uh, so many people I know have gone full time. Yeah. Just from a TikTok. Yeah, uh, you know, and it's amazing to see how you can become an overnight celebrity in and of yourself. Uh, it's true. Uh, it's right true. And now, you, so. you, you may have answered the question already, but I always like to ask, what do you think is one of the best things about living in America? One of the best things about being in this country? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I, you may have answered the question already. You know what? We're all strong. We're all resilient. Mm. We all have the opportunity to bounce back, yeah. start anew. Yes. And you know what? We all have a way to find good in each other. True. So I love whether it's your show or people in you, finding the people in your life that bring out your best side mm. of you, support you, and uh, truly create that positivity yeah. each and every day. Surround yourself with good people. I so agree with always you. Always find good people. You know, you, you you are mirroring exactly what I think, and you know I feel, and that's great because when you when you have the opportunity and you think about it, and you know I, I was listening to something this morning driving in and it was a message about love mm. and it was self-love and how important it is to love yourself and to respect yourself because you know this if you're, if you're not able to to love yourself you can't love other people but i think that that's at the heart of what we're talking about enjoy your life think of the opportunities think about doing something good and think about your purpose in life and the mission that you have and really being excited about everything that you're doing in your life right and so me, important that's fashion and family if yeah. i have those two things each yeah. and every day somehow i'm a very happy person inside i love it so you know, find those things yeah. that you can do to fulfill your day each and every Love day. Love that message. You know, a happier person. Yeah. Just day in and day out. It could be the little things. But for me, family and fashion. Family and fashion. Yep, I love it. Jackie, Jackie Moran, Moran you're unbelievable. <laughs> I love you it. So Congratulations to you and all the good things that you're doing. Jackie Thank Moran. You. A nice round of applause for my <laughs> dear friend. Okay. Thanks, Thank Jackie. You, See you again Great next time. Bye. See you again. <laughs>